and welcome back. I'm going to be making pizza dough. Well, I'm going to be making pizza dough for three different things. One is I'm making pizza and I'm also going to be doing pretzel bites with that. And I'll also be making um, pretzel bites, pizza. There's one more thing. Oh, taco pizza, taco rolls. I guess they're like taco pizza rolls. And I'm also going to be showing you how to make tortillas because I'm going to do them both kind of at the same time. So I'll show you how to make the pizza dough first. Okay, so I have one and a half cups of warm water, so it's warm to the touch. It's about 85 to 90 degrees in Fahrenheit for temp in a large size bowl. And then I have three, three teaspoons of active dry, staff dry yeast, or you can do just active dry yeast already in the package. And I'm just gonna mix this. So the yeast starts to kind of wake up. And I'm gonna use all purpose flour for this, I'm gonna let this sit for a second. I'm just gonna mix that and let it sit, okay, for about a minute, and then we'll come back. Okay, so I've let that sit for a second, about a minute, and the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add almost four cups of flour. And this is about double the recipe. Well, actually I tripled it because um, I need it for multiple things. Three, and we're gonna do four because I'm pretty sure that should be enough, but you never know. So I'm gonna put four and a half. Do four and I'll mix this guy up. And this is my preferred method. I don't know, I, I like using chopsticks, it's easier. Okay, once it starts to look like that, I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil. I'm gonna add about an eighth of a cup of olive oil. And then once it starts to kinda look like it's coming together. I'm gonna go ahead and start kneading the dough in. So I'm just kind of picking it up from the bottom and pushing it in and until it starts to kind of come together. Oh yeah, I don't need the other half of a cup, so I'm just gonna leave that guy to the side. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. Better to have it than not to have it. So I need to put this on the board, so I'm gonna show you how to do that. Hold on. Once it comes together like this, you can pull it out. And start kneading it. So I'm just turning it, folding it over, pressing it down until it becomes smooth. And if you don't have a nice wooden board like this, um, you can just use a cutting board. It's really not that big of a deal. I don't like the bamboo ones. Really invest in like a nice booze block. Something that's going to last a really long time. So. Kneading this guy. Until he is smooth. Because I'm going to make mini pizzas with him. I'm going to make some pretzel bites with this guy do a bunch of stuff. It's going to taste really good. So, okay. So that's basically it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to separate this guy because it has a nice spring back. I'm going to knead it a few more times. Sometimes I have to get on my toes to really knead the dough all the way through. So I'm just going to keep kneading this guy. As When it starts to, when you press it and it kind of comes back in, it's done. So I'm going to cut this guy up into thirds. Okay, so. I'm gonna pull this. And 
Now I've got one, I've got two, okay, and three. So I'm gonna go ahead and then I'll let these guys rest and then I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with them.